Let's take it back to my teenage years. I was once a dumb, naive, impressionable, emotional 18-year-old boy. And I don't care what you say. When you're 18, you're still a little kid to me. I see every one of you who is younger than me as an extension of my own being. You are my children. You're still a little kid when you're 18. Not all of you. There are some very mature 18-year-olds out there, but the vast majority of people, they were dumb when they were young. And I know this because I was once like that. Even though you might be legally allowed to vote, to buy alcohol, to buy cigarettes, to sign a contract, whatever, you're still a little child. You're still a little kid to me. Why am I saying all of this? I say this because I care about you, young people of today. You guys are going to be the keeper of the earth. You guys are going to be here long after we're gone. After this generation is gone, it's your generation. And I do have a lot of faith in you. But I also invest a lot of my energy and time towards helping you, young people around me in my life. Because I believe that the future lies in your hands. Okay? So 18-year-olds, technically you're an adult. Legally, you're an adult. But when you're 18, you're still dumb as fuck. You still make mistakes. Terrible mistakes. Terrible mistakes with long-lasting consequences for your life. I'm not downplaying the effects <laughs> of giving young people responsibility. Some of us do make very terrible life mistakes. When I was 18, it was the time that I first discovered the true nature of people. When I was living away from my parents, when I had no authority figure looking over my shoulder, making sure that I am doing the shit that I was supposed to do, I learned firsthand what it's like to be an adult. So I just moved out of my parents' house, moved away from my family, went down to this little island called Tasmania, which is like a tiny, tiny island when compared to the mainland Australia. And I live in this small country town um, where basically if you go down the street, you, if you walk down the street, you will see the same people who also goes to your school, who also goes to your work, who also goes to your gym. You know everybody here. You're fucked if you have made a bad impression for yourself. So I moved down here and I wanted to reinvent my life. I don't want to be known as that kid from high school anymore. I changed my name back to my Vietnamese name. I was known as Bob. Now I'm known as Khoi. I'm still the same person, by the way. I just wanted to refine myself. And that's what I did. I lose weight. I got healthier. I started looking after myself. I started looking after my own health and stuff like that. Life is great. But I also had my down moments. I also found myself lonely. I also found myself craving for a connection. Starting again is not easy. Making friends as an adult is not easy. And being in a small country town, the people here already have their own sorts of cliques and groups that they hang out in. The people whom they already know from school, they stick together. And I found that my uni experience was probably not the greatest because I had no friends. Everybody who came from this small country town, they already had their friends, so they hung out with their friends and I was left alone most of the time. Why am I telling you guys all of this? I'm 
straying away from my topic, but I, I just felt like I had to share it to get some sort of context. Um, why am I saying that young people, they are dumb? Because I was once a dumb person. I was once a very emotional, reactive young man. My suicide attempts happened when I was 20, 19 or 20. I was a young man. I was dumb. I was reactive. Um, so yeah, when I was 18, I discovered these webcam sites where you basically click on a streamer, usually a female streamer. You send her messages. You can even um, donate money to her stream and request her to do things. I was once caught up in this sort of <laughs> online behavior. I was a kuma. I was addicted to porn because I longed for connection. I crave intimacy. And when I discovered that women just by existing online, they can make tons of money out of this lucrative business. It got me very triggered. I learned that not only they are making money from exposing themselves, being vulnerable, they can make money by wearing clothes and just by talking. Just by existing on the internet, women make a tons of money. That got me really pissed off because back then, I was also into this online influencer business thing. I started a business. I started a t-shirt company. I tried to build an audience and I, I tried to show my products and try to get people to buy my product, but I had no lead. People were just not interested in my weird ideas. I don't know if it was because of my poor marketing skills, um, if it was because I am not building a big enough audience to attract any sort of lead. But then when I was alone by myself, when I was laying down, scrolling on Instagram, I would try to approach other content creators and try to get them to notice me by commenting on their posts, liking their posts. It's all fake as fuck to me. What I was trying was, I was trying to get followers. I, I was focused on the, the amount of followers that I can get on my Instagram. And I do vo provide some sort of value, I believe. I, I was playing my guitar, I was doing solos and trying to cover songs. I guess that's entertaining in a way. But then I look at the women on Instagram, what sort of things they post. Some of them don't even have to play the guitar and they, they already have more followers than me. And that got me so triggered. I got so pissed off. I immediately reacted to this. And back then I didn't have a lot of female friends. The only females that I interacted with were my sister and my mom and even them I don't talk to them that much back in the days because I was away from my family so I, I didn't really have experience with women and I thought of them as being superior to men or something like I didn't think women shit or piss but they do they do shit they do piss they do vomit and I know this because of my profession being in this profession makes me realize how women are just like us. They're just people like us. Everybody shits. Everybody piss. Everybody come. We're all human. So women, they're not superior to me. I only know that now. But back then, I was in my red pill of rage, if you could say that. Um, I got very pissed off at women. I was very resentful towards women because I thought that we are being dealt an unfair hand in this 
game of life. Women just had so much easier. I thought to myself, they didn't even have to try. They just have to exist online, and they already make a ton of money. And what am I doing? I'm just shooting myself in the foot here. But yeah, what triggered these emotions in me again, and I felt compelled to make this video, was the fact that I was scrolling on Instagram again yesterday, and I stumbled across the girls in my town. And keep in mind that this town is a small country town. And so you basically know everybody. What I found was quite disturbing was that a lot of these girls, they have only fans accounts. And before I judge them and, and, and really condemn them and say bad things about them, I actually don't know what they post on OnlyFans. They might just be innocent pictures and videos. I don't know because I haven't paid for that. I don't know what they are posting. But I have a hunch that they are exposing themselves. They are showing more than they should. And this is quite a risky business, I think, which can have devastating consequences for them in the future. I mean, I can't speak. I'm already making very controversial videos on my channel with my name, with my face on it. What's more risky? Me being in this profession, <laughs> talking about personal issues, talking about personal beliefs, or them being a nobody with no sort of real career, nothing to lose, promoting their body online. Whose life is more at stake here? I really don't know. I can't really condemn them because I'm also doing the same thing. But I just wish that they had done something differently because once your face is out there on the internet, it's going to be out there forever. Once their body with their face or if they choose not to reveal their face, whatever, they are all already damaging their reputation because it's a small country town where everybody's going to know them. I don't know. I don't know, man. I wish that they had just focused on something else. Use their beauty to their advantage. Whatever. Use their beauty to raise awareness to an important topic. To talk about something that they are passionate about. Instead of doing this. Use your beauty. The beauty that God has given you for something greater. Something greater than just appealing to the carnal desires of men. That's just my two cents anyway. As always, I love you all. God bless. I hope you find these videos. I don't know, man. I just hope that you find these videos. I just want to talk to you, man. But anyways, I have complete faith in you. I know that things will work out in the end. Okay? It's going to be all right. I love you all. Stay strong. God bless. And speak to you next time. Peace.